And welcome back to the Sports Wrap. We're bringing you Ron Robert, the host of High School Sports Wrap with Ron Robert every Monday night, WNIR, WNIR 1380 AM and 95.1 Mondays at 7. We here on the Sports Wrap love covering high school sports, so it's good to have you in and bringing that sort of coverage to the radio airwaves here in Rhode Island. What made you uh, begin this uh, venture into high school sports? Um, I mean, I just, I've had uh, children grow up in the high school sports in this area. I did high school sports mm -hmm. when I was in this area younger and and uh, you know I've, I've always wanted to be on the radio uh, it's just a dream of mine sure. and so I just decided to give it a whirl there you go yeah you got a nice radio voice I like thanks. that thanks so uh, spring season right now upon us tell me some of the uh, big uh, storylines we were talking off camera lacrosse maybe a showdown looming with LaSalle and uh, Moses Brown right yeah I mean uh, LaSalle actually you know took a loss in overtime this year to Moses Brown mm -hmm. but uh, actually you know LaSalle came back and gave him a sure. uh, gave him a gave him a tough game so you know I feel like that's the the landscape of the top two right now I mean there's yeah. always you know Barrington and Hendrickson are strong right. in the middle I feel like uh, you know Portsmouth North Kingston East Greenwich mm -hmm. some strong teams out there as well. All right, on the baseball side, last year it was Hendrickin winning as they do many years in baseball over South Kingstown, but you think the Rebels maybe can can do it this year, my alma mater. Right. Well, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the Rebels are 11 and 0. Yep. And they were on a 20-game win streak going into the finals mm -hmm. last year and Hendrickin put the stops on them, but they lost some uh, talent you mm -hmm. know and, and they're rebuilding they're a little younger this year uh, and the Rebels are 11 and 0 like I said right now and and you know really you're looking at Cranston East is strong right yeah. now um, you know North Kingston's pretty strong right now so there's a couple teams I think Coventry might be decent sure uh, so there's, there's a few teams out there that are that are trying to and LaSalle's really good this year as well right. um, you know but it, you never know what happens once all these teams get in the playoffs right. it's an even it's a you start 0-0 zero, zero. as for the rest of the spring sports, boys and girls, is there any team or sport that you've been keeping an eye on that people should watch out for? Well, you know, there's always Kiera Oliver in North Kingston, a uh, chance to be Gatorade Player of mm -hmm. the Year in softball once again. She's going to be a guest on my show oh, great. Uh, in June. Um, and, you know, that's pretty, that is a pretty great story in sure. itself. Um, you know, I've had some great guests on the show, uh, some, some great kids from Prout. Um, that you know have they're doing crew and swimming and yeah. and uh, you know lacrosse and and golf and there's a, there's a lot of things happening in Rhode Island that that people you know don't hear about and that's kind of what the show is all about sure. and that's what we're looking for out of those athletes yeah and you know high school football gets the most attention here on our show all the three stations do a high school show in the journal um, but you know a lot of the other sports maybe go under the radar so you're trying to focus a lot on that and on your radio show we mix it up we mix it up for sure and we've had you know girls basketball boys football and uh, you know we, we try to bring everybody in girls soccer and mm -hmm. um, you know because there's great athletes in every sport sure. and right now I mean you know we were talking about you're talking about football how it always gets the highlights and I it's funny because I was actually talking to coach Croft from Hendrickin mm -hmm. today uh, they were talking he was talking about how you know uh, what his team's looking like moving forward a young right young team I mean you know they have a lot of state titles under their belt in a row so uh, he's looking for some new leaders and there's going to be a, some great storylines coming up in football I've been I've had the chance to talk to Moses Brown football coach as well and and some other players mm -hmm. and, and coaches so all right so every Monday night seven o'clock 1380 a.m. 95.1 FM and you go for an hour and you have an hour and talking sports all right I'll come up next time you invite me on I'll come on you're we'll invited right <laughs> now on here so everyone hears that right. he doesn't show up all right, you there know? you go plug it all right thanks so much for coming into the sports wrap and Mark Dondero will have more on the show coming up right after this.